lot of people have asked me about private GPT. So this is a setup where we can go offline, but still use language models to ask about our personal documents and private files. So I thought in this video, I can show you how to install it and how to use it. So we got to navigate over to GitHub. I will leave in the link to this repo in the description below and in the pinned comment. So head over there and we can get started. The first thing we want to do is just head up here and click on code here and we want to copy this URL here. So let's copy that. Then we can head over to I'm using Visual Code Studio. You can do whatever you want if you just want to do it locally in terminal. So what I want to do now is just select the folder I want. I want to go to terminal, new terminal. And here you can see I am in my Python folder. So I'm just going to go git clone paste the URL we just copied and hit enter. Okay, so that was quite fast. You can see now I have cloned this into my folder. So the next thing I want to do is just go CD private GPT. Okay, so now we are in a folder, we can do it there. And you can see here we have our files. The next step we want to do now is uh, you can either head back to the GitHub repo. You can scroll down here and you can find pip install our requirements.txt. Just copy that. Head back to your terminal. Okay, so we can paste that. Now we need to install the requirements for the setup. So I'm just going to start this. I probably had a lot of those installed already, but you can just let this run until it's complete. And then we can move on to the next step. And that is going to be, I want to find my private GPT folder here. So you can see I have it installed here. I want to scroll down until I find this file here called example.env. I'm going to right click on that. I want to rename it to only .env, right? Okay. So we can have a look at it. Here is where we can change our model type. I'm just going to keep it like this. So you can do whatever you want. If you want a different model here, that is possible. And speaking of models, now we want to head back to the GitHub repo and we can scroll further down here till you find this LLM default to this model here. You want to download this. So all you have to do is just click on that and start downloading. It's about 3.5 gigabytes, so it's going to take some time. So when that is finished, I will show you where to place it. Okay, so you have downloaded the model. So you can see here now in model path that this is placed in a folder called models. So what we're going to do then is go to our private GPT folder, right? Right click on that, click on new folder. And we want to make this folder called models, right? Okay, so we can double click on that. So let's find the model we just downloaded. You can see the name is the same here. So just drag that over into this folder. And now we have it in here. Perfect. The next thing we want to do now is place our documents in a specific folder called source documents. So I have this document here from baby HI that I have done some research on the Congress hearing with Sam Altman. So this was what I got from the baby HI agents. So it did a whole bunch of research for me on that specific topic, but it's kind of unstructured and I kind of want it in to ask some question about it. So what I can do now is I can grab this PDF, drag it into the source document folder. So you can see it's here now. So what I want to do now is head over back to the terminal. I want to go CD private GPT, right? Then I want to go Python ingest.py. So this is probably going to take some time. I'm actually on my laptop now. I'm not on my GPU. So I'm just going to let this run for a while. So basically this is loading the document. We just going to let this run and I come back when this is finished. While this is running, I just want to quickly show you what kind of supported extension this is now. So it's basically everything. It's CSV, Word, we have email, PDF. Outlook messages, we have PowerPoint documents. So basically every text file you want, you can feed into this and learn from it offline. Okay, so that was my document uploaded. That did not take long. I would say that took about one to maybe one and two minutes. And remember, I'm on my CPU now. So now we are ready to run private GPT.py. So I just open up PowerShell terminal so we can see a bit better. So just gonna run private GPT.py now. So we are gonna load the model, of course. Then we can enter a query. So I want to go 
write a summary of the Congress hearing with Sam Altman. Okay, enter. I don't know how long this is gonna take. I'm on, like I said, a laptop. So I'm just gonna let this run and I'm gonna tell you how long it took. Okay, so that was finished. That wasn't too bad. I would say it took about 5-10 minutes uh, on this very slow laptop. Let's take a look at, so you, what you can see here is you can see the, we have the question here. What's the summary of the Congress hearing? We get a quite brief summary here. It did something. Sam Altman gave a testimony at the Senate hearing on AI risk. Stressed the importance of regulation of AI. Warn about potential. Okay, this looks quite, quite on point to be honest. But I also like to see it, we can see what kind of source it is it used here. So it looked in the documents and it used these four sources, right? So pretty good. What exactly is good about private GPT? Of course, there is the private part that is very secure since it's offline. So this could basically be whatever private document you want to talk about. And I also think since it's offline, you can load up a bunch of documents, you can go on a plane or something, and you can use, if you have a powerful enough computer, you can use an LLM to assist you with your work completely offline. I think that's a good use case for this. So it's very interesting and I kind of like it. So I'm going to be exploring more with this. So yeah, thank you for watching. If this video gave you some value, maybe leave a like or a comment. And be sure to follow along with the channel. Got a lot of exciting AI tutorials and videos coming up. So yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.